team-based learning is a flipped classroom approach where the content that is typically delivered in lecture is acquired by the student outside of class and the homework or the application of that content to scenarios and critical thinking and problem solving is actually done in the classroom. It's a pretty simple concept that goes back to the saying that two heads are better than one. Most PA programs still are relying on a fairly traditional lecture-based model. The first year dedicated to classroom study and the second year dedicated to hands-on clinical experience. And we're no different in that way. But as we've learned more and more about learning itself and the best way to learn and to retain knowledge, we have embraced this model of team-based learning. It really helps us lay down this new knowledge onto the hard drive of our brain so it sticks for a long period of time rather than just being uh, something that we memorize long enough to answer the, the question on the test and then we forget it the minute we walk out of the room. The MGH Institute program really intrigued me when I was looking uh, for PA programs to apply to because I'd much rather be discussing these concepts with my colleagues as opposed to passively uh, hearing a lecturer all day. It's a unique and very interactive way of learning and certainly something that fits my style of learning. Through practicing the concepts daily, out loud, going through clinical cases and you know, weighing pros and cons of different treatments or different outcomes, you really ingrain that knowledge and you're ready for the test. We actually give them what they call the independent learning module before class. And there, it can be a video, it can be an article, it can be a reading, it can be a PowerPoint, but it has information in it that we expect them to know. And what we do in the beginning of each class is give them a quiz that they individually take that is probably on the basic concepts that we want them to know, but they are individually accountable for that information. As soon as they finish that individual quiz, they take that very same quiz with their team so that they get to check in with their teammates and they have to show their teammates that they actually spent the time learning this material. And then the last piece is they move into their application activity in the classroom. So now we're gonna do cases. So looking at the question, this is a 61-year-old firefighter trapped for 12 hours, collapsed building, your PA working in the emergency room, and you are concerned that he may possibly get an infection if this doesn't get taken care of as soon as possible. What does it mean coming like this? Laterally beyond the like, zygomatic bone. So go ahead and tell me what you got. They're absolutely teaching each other, which is probably one of the best things about team-based learning, and they're listening to each other, so it's absolutely beneficial to them. It's important that you are accountable for, for your side of things and what you studied the night before so that your team can learn from you because that's a big part of TBL. If you're not accountable, if your team can't rely on you to come in prepared to contribute to the success of the team, then you're not really going to learn. We purposefully design the teams or put the teams together so that there's variability across that team. When you put these diverse groups of people together, you're inevitably going to have some issues, some conflicts. You're not going to automatically gel and get along beautifully with everybody on your team. When they're out in the workforce, when they're taking care of patients, they're working on a team, these same things are going to happen and they really need to learn how to work through challenges, disagreements, uh, differences of opinions, and interpersonal conflict. We've had the opportunity to take a look again at um, the anonymous survey that y'all filled out. Honestly, I've been pretty frustrated. I don't know, I feel like I'm always kind of getting, I don't know if overshadowed is the right word. That, that was good. Um, we all heard it. Uh, feedback. What specific actions do you think that you'd like for us to take? Well, I know sometimes I can be overpowering, so maybe that can be problematic when you're trying to talk. Um, so maybe moving forward we can try, or like I can try more to ask your opinion too. That'd be awesome. We have a series of practical exams at the end of every semester through the first and second year of the program where we check in to make sure that they've acquired a basic level of competency, which is the list of things we say they need to be able to do before they graduate. 
really excited about what we feel we're seeing in terms of the outcomes of team-based learning for our students. We have the ultimate confidence that the team-based learning approach in our classrooms here is preparing our students for the healthcare team of the future. Thank you.